All right, and then up next, we got a nice ladies card. Uh, kicking us off is another Canadian women's fighter. You know, we just had the pleasure of sitting down with Jillian Robertson, which, mm -hmm. which was just a true treat. If you want to check that and... out, check it out right now. You can see the link right there. <laughs> Perfect. And so now we have Sarah Morris fighting out of Kelowna, BC. Another one trying to make herself, make a name for herself, sorry. She comes in with the six and six record. She's had a little bit of a tough go in the UFC. I believe her UFC record is two and five. Um, you know, most recently she did get that KO against Liana Jojua. She followed that up with a loss to Sajara Eubank. So we know, you know, the, the credibility of these ladies. We've seen them a bunch lately. So, you know, th these were no slouches. She actually won the UFC Fighter 19 as well. And she's going to be taking on Vanessa Mello. So Vanessa Mello comes in with a 10 and 8 record. However, she is 0 and 3 in the UFC. So, I, you know, huge fight for her. She definitely has to show up here. Um, she has decision losses to Aldana, to Cortez, and to Carol Rosa. So, you know, both of these fighters are going to be looking to make a name for themselves and really prolong their UFC career. What do you see here, Siraj? Yeah, so you kind of nailed, nailed it with with our, our girl Sarah, right? So the big thing with Jojua is she was able to ride out that ground. She was able to kind of get those big strikes towards the end to kind of steal that win, right? Sujara Eubanks, when I watched that fight, uh, Sujara Eubanks did a really nice job in 2020. And I think you can agree with me on that. Mm -hmm. she, looked, she, she looked really, really sharp. She looked like a primo athlete. And I think in those fights where, you know, the athleticism really did come in play, she shined. She shined. And I think that was an example of where, you know, Sarah Morris has, has the opportunity now to kind of take on someone that, that I kind of have some questions with. And I have this like pretty solid stab with her. And she's been picked up. Hard. So her striking rate is coming in at 324 against to 153. So she is getting hit 324 oh. times with only landing 153 punches in her fights right now in the UFC. Jesus. That's a that's a problem, you know what I mean? Yeah. And Sarah Morris is no slouch as a striker, you know? And we can clearly see that she has the strength, she has this technique to, to get the fight to the ground if she needs to. But in this case, you know, it seems like it's a pretty good strategy to kind of take this fight to the distance and ride out that 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 strategic striking. But if you compare, you know, our girl Melo to Eubanks, you know, I think there's a huge difference there, right? So I, I do believe oh, that yeah. the odds should show that, you know. I don't think we need to spend that much time on this one, to be quite honest. I think we know that Morris is coming as a huge UFC, you know, um, uh, veteran, you, you mentioned yourself, you know, she's competed on a, uh, an ultimate fighter. She didn't win the entire thing, but she definitely won her fight on the, uh, mm -hmm. on the card and everything like that. So, I mean, she's competed at a high level and, and I think that's going to mean a lot in a fight like this, where we've seen someone fairly consistent. Yes. In a way where it's consistent, like to me, MMA, it's like, it's hard to find that you want to be honest. It's, that's what makes the gambling aspect of it so hard, right? Like the MMA math of everything is just so hard. But in this case, I can't help but feel when you stack up the way these fights have gone for for Melo, just just taking those strikes and being outstruck for for that long, and just the crisp the crispier fighter just seems to come out on top. And if Morris can be that, it's a pretty good ticket to win. Yeah, for sure. And like you said, right? Like this girl has heart. She gets to decision almost every time, mm -hmm. but she's not doing enough to win that decision. She's taking way too many shots. Mm -hmm. And unless that improves, I don't see that changing in this fight. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna ask you know, what do you think the odds are on this one? Yeah, so you sniped it right. Like you're putting a lot to just bank on Mello changing her game, and 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 you hope that she has that ability to kind of switch it up if she needs to. But Morris has to be the uh, the, the the favorite here, and I'm going with a minus two twenty five line for Sarah Morris, and it might oh, be higher than that. Look at this guy, man, two for two. Where's my bell at? Where's my bell at, yo? <laughs> my word, two for two, man. Yeah, so she's actually a minus two fifty favorite, not <laughs> far off from what you said there. Uh, Melo is going to come in slightly above plus 200 and you know from what we've seen on tape and the style of fights I don't see a scenario where we don't take Morris mm -hmm. I think that if depending on where the fight goes there's just areas where she seems to be able to you know outshine outclass a little bit um, and like I said there's just too much tape on Melo on how she kind of deals with the damage and deals with the long term striking over three rounds and you know she just seems to she just seems to not be able to keep up yeah, for sure. I don't see that changing next weekend. I was gonna say we'll this see what weekend. Happens. We'll see what happens. You know, changes, Mello, so. Mello comes out hard. You know, we got. Yeah, we have so much time. You know, Jesus. Yeah. Goes, 
bar and like a, they're like, oh God, you know, you know, pies don't lay nothing yet. Pies, pies, pies don't lay nothing yet. For sure. So you know, that wraps up UFC Fight Island Seven. It's going to be a great card. Can't wait for this one. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button. We got our Instagram, our Twitter, all that information there. Give us a shout. We look forward to hearing from you. Siraj, always a beauty, man. Always a beauty, man. I can't believe the first card of the year went so well. I, I literally had goosebumps for the last hour. It's like freezing cold in here, you know. I just, yeah, I'm so excited. We got it. We got it done really early. We're gonna be able to maybe analyze some lines based on, you know weigh-ins and all those kinds of things maybe there's some late minute changes who knows you know we're gonna have to keep our ear to the ground and just keep it rolling baby you know what time it is for sure stay tuned for that content so let's go bro let's go baby keep it real keep it locked peace <laughs>